Alright, I hope you have your script and part from last time, just so you don't waste much time. If you don't have a part and a script ready, then quickly create one. Alright, and now to explain break. This basically allows you to forcefully stop your while, repeat or for IV loop. And you can break no matter the situation. Only condition is that it has to be used inside of loops, so keep that in mind. If you get a line underneath, then that means that you put it in the wrong spot. Better said that you didn't put it in a loop. And it's also pretty self-explanatory. It breaks out of the loop, hence the word break. Alright, but how does that look like in practice? Well, let me show you. Let's delete this and prepare another while loop. And let's make this one repeat forever too. So let's type in the boolean value true to make it loop forever. Let's also add a variable x, just like this. And now let's make it check if x is equal to 100. And if it is, then break out of our loop. So first, let's make x increase by 1 in each loop, because x can't just magically become 100. And then let's type an if statement that checks if x is equal to 100. And if it is, then simply just break out of the loop using break. Now let me just add a print at the end, so we know that our code actually finished. Uh, and also let's print our x. And we should hopefully get two prints. The first one is our value x, which should be 100, because our loop should break if x becomes 100. And the second one is just a message verifying that our code actually finished. And now let's see what happens if you run the game. Well, it did the exact thing that we wanted it to do. Pretty simple. But you might be asking, why don't we just put a condition up here that checks if x is not equal to 100, so that once x becomes 100, it doesn't loop the code anymore? Well, there are a few reasons. First of all, you might want to stop your loop early. You might have some code after this break that you don't want to run. And with a break, you can do that. But with a condition that is all the way up here, you can't do that. Well, you can, but it will be a mess trying to code like that. And second of all, it might be easier to understand conditions. We had to basically take our condition from this if statement and reverse it. And thirdly, well, there isn't a third fact that I can think of. So let me show you somewhat more practical example. Let's delete all of this again, and let's define our part. And now let's make a loop that repeats forever. And now let's make it break if our part's color is a specific color. So inside of our loop, let's make our part change random colors using brickColor.random. And this just picks a random brick color value from all the brick colors. So yeah, it's pretty easy to understand. And now let's make an if statement that checks if our part's brick color is a specific color. For example, let's check if our part's brick color is equal to really red. And if it is, then let's break out of our loop. Then let's add a print at the end so that we know our code actually finished. And let's see what happens if you run the game. Hmm, that was pretty fast. Let's try again. Okay, maybe I was just lucky. But no, that's not the case. It's because our loop is running way, way, way too fast. So let's add a wait function at the end of our loop so that we can see our parts change color in real time. I'll put something like this. And now let's see what happens if you run the game. I hope you saw what I saw, because that was amazing. If I didn't have any scripting knowledge, I would probably have a huge smile right now, seeing that this actually worked. If that is your case, then I hope you have a huge smile right now. And that's basically it for break. Hope you understand how it works. And now for the challenge. I honestly don't have any idea, but you could make something similar with the variable x that I made, but just make some changes and even add more variables if you're ever so daring. And if you do add more variables, make sure to utilize ORs and ANDs, and don't forget to show your result in my Discord server. Make sure to post that in hashtag creations with the message hashtag challenge3. And also, if you found the video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on, of course, and leave a comment saying if I did a good job explaining the breaks. If I did bad, then please do say what I did wrong. And now, see you guys soon in the next video.